Hi, and welcome to O2 Tara Talk, conversation about one thing you can do right now to stay healthy in your body and mind. And remember, today's talk is for informational purposes only. Consult your practitioner for guidance specific to your situation. And that said, I would like to introduce to you uh, Dr. Katie Nall, who we'll be speaking with today. And, and Katie is an advanced certified emotional freedom technician. So Katie, to start out, can you tell us in one sentence how you help people? Um, well, Tara, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the show. I appreciate being able to share opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm a mathematician who helps people reduce stress, basically, um, and that's, that's a very easy uh, explanation. To help people reduce stress. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, good. So can we then get right into um, what is one thing that we can do right now in these stressful times that we're in? Well, Tara, you are the expert in breathing. <laughs> so I'm going to offer another way to breathe that is kind of a little more fun. Uh, so it's called humming. Uh, and we've all hummed uh, earlier on, but let's try a quick exercise to see how humming can reduce our stress. As Hans Seeley said, who was the first researcher to really define stress, um, which comes from uncertainty lack of information, and lack of control. Do we feel any of that right now? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think we can all agree <laughs> on that. <laughs> so let's see what we can do to help control that biologically. Um, so I'll go through an exercise, uh, and you and your viewers can go with us, where what we're going to do is take a deep breath in, a deep breath out, repeat that in, and out, and then take a deep breath in. And on the third time, when we would breathe out, we're gonna hum that breath out. Would you like to do it with me? Okay, yeah, so it's in, out, in, out, in, and then hum, hum. on the third time. Excellent, okay. yeah, let's try that. Okay, so let's try it, ready? Mm -hmm. And the second one. And then the third one, we take our breath in and hum our way out. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that's a very grounding sensation that you get from that. Right? Yeah. And it turns out you can do this all day long. <laughs> And you can do it anywhere, anytime, um, and it's a very, yeah, I love your phrase, grounding, and it's a way to just kind of calm those um, uh, uh, nerves down so that you yeah. can go forward. Yeah, it's much like, um, you know, when, when I talk about breathing itself, it really is, when you pay attention to your breathing, there's nothing more fundamental that we do, and right. so it's the same thing. When you turn inward and really focus in the, on that, it really does help you ground yourself and just get out of the out of your head and into your body, which really does help with all the stress and everything. And I love the the humming because there is then that physical component. You can hear it, you can feel the vibrations, and that really um, adds a whole another element to it. Wow, that's very neat. Yeah, it's fun. Um, yeah. And uh, I actually put my husband to sleep the other night. <laughs> he was, well, he was a little nervous about all this that's going on. Who isn't? And he was having trouble going to sleep. And I said, well, just, let's just do this together. And uh, by the third section of where we did the three times, uh, he was snoring. So <laughs> That's wonderful. So, I mean, that tells us we can do this with our family, another adult or our children, you know. The children have a lot of fun with it, right? Because they can hum along. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. great. It's Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then I know, Katie, you also, as we said in the, um, you know, what your uh, practice is being an advanced certified emotional freedom technician. Can you tell us a little bit about how we could use that as well? So once you're grounded, um, you may want to release a lot of the stress, the fear, the anxiety that we're having right now in these times. And tapping is a proven technique on eliminating that stress and that anxiety around a specific um, issue, 
so it may be, you know, the fear of the unknown. It may be, um, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to, how I'm going to be working from home. Uh, it may be, I'm not sure about my income. Um, so, right. Uh, it could be, uh, I'm not sure about this virus or who I might know who might get it. Um, so those fears, those anxieties can really be eliminated using tapping. And actually, Tara is kind of, you know, a pretty common kind of thing. Unconsciously, we may be actually touching different parts of our body. Um, we may be talking to people or, or just like working around things and find ourselves kind of comforting ourselves um, by touching different parts of our body. And there are eight places in our body that if we touch, will hit about 98% of our entire um, systems. Um, it's based on the traditional Chinese medicine. Mm. And yeah, and it's uh, mm. based on their meridians. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just start with a little tapping and you can go slow or fast mm -hmm. on the edge of your eyebrow above your nose. And then on the side of your eye, between your eye and your hairline, mm -hmm. and then under your eye. Take the glasses off. <laughs> I know, I have to take my glasses off too. That's why I had mine off for this. And then under your nose. And Tara, if you find a particular spot that you go, oh, that's really comforting, you can keep tapping just yeah. on that spot. Well, it's funny and that then, you say that, Katie, is when you, this one right here felt particularly good to me. Okay, then yeah, you can yeah. tap just on that spot and um, and then on your collarbone. Mm -hmm. And then about four inches under your arm. This is my monkey move. <laughs> 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 and, um, and then you can continue. Now, they've done a lot of um, studies throughout the world. It's very well accepted in a lot of other countries. And the studies that they've found, the clinical studies they've found, is that when you add words, to these different tapping points, it becomes even more effective. So it can be, I'm fearful about the future. I'm fearful about the future. I'm fearful about the future. Mm. I'm fearful about the future. And just repeating those same words as you go through these points actually calms the entire system down. Uh, wow. And it allows you to think more clearly because everybody knows that if you are full of emotions, you can't make good decisions. Um, yeah, so it helps okay. bring those emotions into play so that you can make intelligent and good decisions. Right, so basically we're hitting these Chinese-based meridian points, and then, like you said, if you add vocalization, that's also allowing you to express what you might otherwise be sort of holding right. on to, you know, to your detriment, really. So, so you really can get the relief. So wow, so we can do this humming thing and then go ahead right into this tapping to allow us to really get that relief. Absolutely. I think that's something we really, really need right now. So, so let me ask you um, a, a question. What, um, what would you think of, or maybe you've worked with clients, are there certain roadblocks that might prevent you from doing that? Is it like a comfort level? Like the technique itself seems pretty accessible. Where do you see the biggest roadblocks in actually being able to use that, you know, effectively? Well, Tara, even before all of this started, I've had clients worldwide using similar types of, of uh, techniques like um, Zoom. And um, the hardest thing that, the biggest roadblock that people have is admitting that there's a negative emotion. Mm. Great example is that when I first started, I tried all this out on my husband who got very upset with me. He said, you know, for 30 years, you've been telling me to think positive and now you want me to stay the negative. And I said, well, <laughs> you know, this wasn't working for 30 years. So let's try this. <laughs> but it turns out that, you know, if we say over and over again, I'm successful, I'm successful, I'm successful, which is a great idea. There could be a little part back here that says, what makes you think that you're successful? Or how about that time where you were a big failure? Or, you know, somebody else said that you weren't so successful. Yeah. And what time? Oh, we just froze a little bit. Say that again. We, we, we just froze a little bit when, when you said somebody else said you weren't successful. Can you just yeah. pick up again from there? Yeah. So somebody else may say that you weren't successful. 
So what happens is with tapping is that you can say, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be successful or not, or, or I, I don't know if I can be successful mm. and repeating those phrases through those, because not saying them doesn't mean they don't exist. They exist, but we suppress them. And it's the suppression that causes physical issues, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. That's interesting too, because it really, it burns up so much energy trying to fight off negative emotions too. Right. right? And right. so if, if we can indeed acknowledge them and say, you know, get it out there, basically, basic catharsis, right? Okay. And, and then somehow it almost um, can become a little more manageable. It's almost like when you're at night, like, you know, I have an 11 year old and she'll say, Oh, I need some water. And I'll say, okay, why don't you go downstairs and get it? You know, it's like a bedtime, you know, and she'll be, well, I don't want to go down there, but I don't also want to like kind of cater to those sort of things. So sometimes I'll say, you know what, go ahead. I'll turn this light on you. Go. She'll come back up and she'll say, I don't know why I was so afraid. You know, so it's like, yeah. you have to go, you have to do it to realize. And it sounds like this will give you that same kind of relief to get it out of your mind, bring it to the forefront. Once you recognize it, then you can say, Hey, Right. As bad as I thought it was. Right. So wow. So two really, really concrete things that we can do right now to help yes. us manage this unprecedented amount of stress and strain and and, and fear, really, that we're all sort of mm -hmm. trying to work through. Um, well, that is really wonderful. Um, and um, let's see. I I think um, just trying to think if 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 uh, we want to. We want do, do do you have any other thoughts on any other roadblocks that might possibly come up for people, or is that the main one that you see? And and how do you or how do you actually how do you guide your client if they do indeed say, I don't know about this negative thing. I don't you know. Do you have any kind of uh, trick or something in case somebody's not sure if they can do this? Oh, Tara, I love the phrase trick. <laughs> I'm the biggest trickster. <laughs> so yeah. Um, um, you know, uh, I'll go back to my husband, poor guy. I just pick on him so much. Yeah. Uh, but um, he would say, I, you know, I don't really have anything negative. I said, that's great. I'm really glad to hear that. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get um, to it. <laughs> but a great example was he came home night after night after night complaining about this one client he had and um, how they were disruptive. And, you know, he just went on and on and on. And finally, one night I sat him down and I said, look, I know you're not negative and I know you have no problems at all, but for me, would you tap for me <laughs> and just repeat these words and see, and um, the part that's important about tapping is to use your own words uh, because tapping is all about speaking the truth. And the truth is we might be fearful of the future or we might be wondering how we're going to uh, generate income. Um, and so saying that truth, it resonates with our amygdala and, and our amygdala says, yes, this is our, it's all about survival, right? It's right, all right, about right. Survival. And, and what we're doing is reassuring the amygdala that, you know, um, you may think that I don't know how to, to do this, but I cognitively, my prefrontal cortex, I have lots of ways that I can make income and maybe different. Um, I may have to look at other things, um, but let me reassure you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wow. basically I just ask them, I do trick them a little bit a little, and little say, bit. I get it that you don't have anything negative, but why don't we just tap on how you feel about it? Now, what I've found a lot of people, Tara, are um, a little bit unsure about a new system. Mm -hmm. um, and so the first thing we might tap on is, I'm really unsure if this is going to work or not. I'm That's unsure great. if this is going to work or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm unsure if it's going to work or not. And so we will do a whole session, uh, a section uh, just on, you know, the way they feel about trying something new and different. Right. That's great. Yeah. It's like addressing the 800 pound gorilla in the room, right? Right up, up front. That, that's a good. Speak and the I, truth. I, yeah. yeah. And I love the other point you made, Katie, in that, um, Sometimes we can be experiencing something that we're not really aware of because it's at such a deep level, but it's, it's coming out in agitation or irritation with other people so that it really, it can take somebody else to sort of coax you along and then 
help you get to a point to say, wow, you know, now that I don't, now that I'm not carrying that burden, I realize how heavy it actually was, you know, because that's what I find too. A lot of times when the burden accumulates, you don't really realize it getting progressively heavier because it can be such a slow thing, right? And right. it's only you get the relief right. that you realize how sort of downtrodden you become, you know? Right. So uh, so I think that is, yeah. So maybe like even with our kids, I'm thinking how I can do this with my daughter who is now trying to figure out how to get all of her homework done through this mm-hmm. online thing and just not seeing her friends and whatever. So this might actually be really perfect because I know she's strained by that in addition to all the other fear and uncertainty that's going on. Yeah, I have worked, Tara, with clients as young as two years old. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Because they all have emotions, right? Um, Yeah. Yeah, so my two-year-old granddaughter was terrified of loud noises to the point where she couldn't be in the house when the vacuum was running. Mm. And um, with her parents' permission, I tapped on her about the fear of loud noises and now she's in the same kitchen with me when I'm running my blender and she says, well, that's loud. I said, yeah, it is. If you want to go in the other room, you can, but she's fine. That's amazing. Wow. Well, I I think you gave us so many concrete examples, Katie, to see how this can really (laughs) help us to, to manage in these really stressful times. So that's it. So we can hum, and we can do this emotional freedom technique as well. And Katie, is there anywhere that, uh, if anyone wanted to get more information, um, where they might be able to find you? Yes, if they go to my website, which is www.nalledgeco.com, knowledgecompany.com. Cute, a nice little play on words there, knowledge. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I told you I was a trickster. Yeah, uh, I love it. I love uh, or they, they can uh, email me at hello at drnall.com, H-E-L-L-O at D-R-N-A-L-L.com, or they can call me. I'd love to talk to them about, um, I'm at 772-480-0541. And I'm anxious to help people, especially now in this time. I have some great techniques, even beyond these two, uh, to help people ground and to uh, give them the peace that they can make intelligent decisions. We are going to have to be making some big decisions in the near and foreseeable future. Right. Um, and you know, we have we have high school and college students who are trying to figure out their future, um, what they're going to be doing. I have a lot of high school students that I help with um, math and test anxiety um, and trying to, they may have thought they were gonna make decisions about going to different colleges and that can be changed, Um, but I'm here to help. Um, Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, great, I will put all that information in the show notes for this talk so people can reach out to you and I really appreciate you taking the time to share this with us, thank you. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you, Tara. I appreciate you.